bring it up once we got to reload the page here I'm assuming Okay, we're live. Okay, I think we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the BYOAR T350 show. Uh, this week, uh, we're going to talk about uh, build sheets and, and building a rifle. I got Matt with me again this week. Uh, Y'all remember Matt from a couple weeks ago, one of our engineers here. Um, Matt's built a rifle. I've built a bunch of rifles, and uh, we're going to spend a little time talking about building a rifle and uh, why you would want to do it, and then we're going to walk through the process of uh, requesting a build sheet from us and uh, how you work that build sheet. So... What do you? What was your thoughts about building one, Matt? When you built your rifle, why don't you? Uh, why don't you grab your gun and gun and have let everybody have a look at that sweet thing? So, this is my personal rifle. Uh, my personal experience was uh, slowly acquiring parts and lots of internet forums and lots of YouTube, and I eventually pieced this together with a lot of help from Jimmy, actually on what's good to get, what not to get, what, where to spend the money, where I can kind of go budget, because I didn't want to spend a ton, but I didn't want it to be a cheap, chunky one. So so how much did you spend there? What do you got into uh, that? This is less than $1,000. Probably eight, nine hundred bucks, pushing pushing the $1,000 mark, but, but you had, there's some nice stuff, but there's some budget stuff. You had $200 just in the Cerakote, yeah, too, it was right? $200 in just the coating, and I got a nice bolt. It's one of the nickel boron coated bolts, but and a, you know, cheap, flimsy stock, just a basic magpul grip and bare so creek barrel. If you take this right here and you drill a little 1032 set screw in there, you Tighten can right up, yeah, right. you can set screw that in there and you'll get rid of that. Mm -hmm. You'll get rid of that sound there. Uh, yeah. Yep. In but fact, uh, that doesn't bother me a whole lot. But. If you want to reach over and grab that other one there, I'll show you. I did that one. As a matter of fact, so if you look at the bottom of the stock, there's a little set screw right there, mm -hmm. and you put the stock wherever you want it, and you know in. that thing is locked in and it's quiet, and mm -hmm. so. Right. So, you know, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about building your own AR. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't have to be an expert to do this stuff. It's pretty simple with the right tools and a little bit of knowledge that uh, we can help you acquire through uh, just direct access or through Facebook videos. And we got some YouTube videos, new videos are going up all the time on YouTube about how to do various things. Um, you know, like Matt said, and when I built my first one, I was searching high and low for a bunch of different information from a bunch of different places. And what we're trying to do is consolidate that information into one place so that you can stop you can get all the information you need in in writing and then you got all the videos will get you help you get all your parts and then you got all the information you need all the videos you need to put the thing together so Andy wants me to walk through uh, pieces and parts that I used so which is main overview or exactly what I got so main overview main pieces I started with an 80% lower and did the trigger pocket machining myself to save a little bit of money and hassle with the FFL side of things uh, arrow precision upper it's nothing crazy the bolt is a fail zero nickel boron coated Iron City Rifle Works lightweight handguard I believe it's a 13 inch uh, 16 inch Bear Creek 223 wild barrel, so I can shoot 223 and 556 out of this rifle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of uh, our Rendell muzzle brakes, mag pull bipod, and a Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 8 on their 2 inch offset mount. 
as well as some flip out iron sights. Those are more for show, they're real cheap. <laughs> the nice ones are expensive, but <laughs> inside of 10 yards, you're just pointing and shooting at that point, so that's all right. I'm using for. And they're just there for a backup in case your scope fails. Mm -hmm. And a uh, basic mil spec trigger for now. And uh, just UTG Pro, trustable stock. So those are all the main pieces. And how long did it take you to acquire everything? What was your... Uh, for me, I spanned it out over a long period of time. So I was piecing everything together for probably six months. Just waiting for a little sale here, sale there. All this is Black Friday deal or free shipping if I got this and this. And so mm -hmm. slowly but surely got it all pieced together and resulted in really, really nice rifle. It does. It's really nice. Maybe 1,500 rounds through it and haven't had any problems whatsoever built to myself nice yeah i saw the video you, you showed me a video of you and your buddy doing some tactical drills some time drills and yeah. looked like it was performing real well i could hear that steel ringing mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, yeah, pretty accurate rifle 165 yards 100 yards and 65 yards so so it's even with the cheap barrel it's still pretty accurate i've got that a same nicer, a nicer barrel would definitely result in a little tighter groups but yeah for the distance I'm shooting with this, it's it's it does or, it does the job right. Yeah, I've got that same barrel on the first gun I ever built, and I, I like it. It holds a good group at you know the closer yardages. Right. Yeah, you know, three or four hundred yards, you obviously want to mm -hmm. get a little bit something better. Right. But you know, for what you're using yeah. it for, it works. It's good. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you know, how do you take? Uh, something like this you've never done it before you want to build your own ar um, you can log on to byoar.com and uh, go on our website and there's a be an architect link and we kind of play on the word you know the architect you know being a builder and you're building your rifle so you're you're an a architect you know a little play on words a little humor um, you can click the be an a architect button and there's a set of questions. You'll answer those questions and tell us what it is you want to do with a rifle, what your intended purposes are, um, how much you want to spend. You know, there's a small series of questions, half dozen, eight questions, and it gives us an idea of what it is you're looking for and, and what the, uh, you, you know, kind of beginning with the end in mind. You see what you want and we'll work it backwards from there. Um, you submit that to us and we'll look it over. If we have any questions, we'll get in contact with you. If it's pretty straightforward, we work you up a build sheet and we'll email it over to you. And there's a video link in there of how to use that build sheet. Um, it's on uh, our BYOAR YouTube channel. Uh, you can subscribe to that and you'll get various videos of how to do builds, how to do installs, but there's a video up there of how to use that and I provide a link to that with every build sheet as well. Uh, we'll do a quick little tutorial over here on the computer and kind of show you how that works. So we are get off of ourselves being live here. So when you get a build sheet in the email, this is what you're going to get. It's going to look like this. It's going to tell you what it is, what your price range is, and then it's going to have these highlighted links, and it's going to tell you what it is, strip lower receiver AR-15, where it's coming from, and what the price is. So you, if I knew how to do this, and you just open the hyperlink. Anybody got some Jeopardy music? Oh, that's for dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this is a lower receiver, and this is a regulated item. So when you buy this item, it will have to be transferred to an FFL dealer, and you'll have to present yourself at the FFL dealer, go through the NICS background check, and then you'll be able to purchase this. Um, the rest of the stuff is not regulated and can be shipped right to your home. So uh, if you like this, this is what you want. All you got to do is add this to your cart. And we'll, oop, what I, where did I go? Okay, so you add that to your cart. And then you're going to want to continue shopping. 
So that's the first item. And then you'll come back to your build sheet and you go down to your next item. And this is the stripped lower receiver or upper receiver, I'm sorry. And you're going to open that hyperlink. And our Wi Fi is a little slow. A lot of people off work right now with everything that's going on in the world. Probably a lot of people on the internet. Probably doesn't help that we're live streaming on there, too. Yeah, <laughs> we got three different items hooked up to our Wi Fi right now. So you see, this is the stripped upper receiver. And if you like it, it's the one you want, you go ahead and you add that to your cart. And the nice thing is it keeps you, you know, a running total, recognizes the URL from your computer, knows that you're still in here buying stuff. And we'll close that. Right. And then we'll close. There we go. You can tell I'm not super computer literate here, huh? So we'll go to the next <laughs> item, and that's the lower parts kit. Yeah, that's the. There's a lower parts kit right here. So you like this item? And you add it to your cart. Okay. So we don't need to go through and do that for every item. You kind of get how that whole system works. You've got all your parts done um, off of that list. I kind of, when I do a build sheet for you, um, I try to shop around and keep you within the budget that you ask for. And I also try to buy as much stuff as I can or, or get you to buy as much stuff as I can from one place to take advantage of the shipping discounts. If you're buying this here because it's a few dollars cheaper, but you're paying shipping in two different places, you know, stuff can start to, the, the shipping can add up and start killing you. So I try to get as much as I can from one place at a time to take advantage of those shipping discounts. So you go to... Uh, the checkout and you know we've all ordered stuff online you know you know how to go through the checkout you put your credit card info in you put your shipping info in and then again you know because you have a restricted item in there that particular item is going to ship to an FFL and you're going to set up that in the checkout process they're going to ask you what FFL you want to ship to uh, a lot of times some of the companies have a FFL registry um, you just find a, put in your zip code, find a FFL near you, and they'll ship it right to that FFL. You give them a call, tell them you've got an item on the way. They'll call you when it's in. You go in, pay your transfer fee, boom, 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 do your check, and uh, away you go. So it's really a simple process. Uh, the rest of the stuff will ship right to your home. Um, I have seen on occasion a couple of uh, websites if there's a restricted item in the cart, then every item in that cart is going to ship to the FFL. So what you'll want to do is order all of your stuff that can ship directly to your home and have it shipped to your home and then order that FFL item and only have that FFL item shipped to the FFL dealer because there's no need to have all the rest of that stuff shipped there. You're going to kind of get that stuff at your house and start putting stuff together while you're waiting for the lower. You know. So you're going to get, uh, you know, lower parts kit. You're going to get an upper, a lower. You're going to get a charging handle. You're going to get a bolt carrier groove. You're going to get a buffer assembly. You're going to get a, a stock. You're going to get a barrel. Uh, you can go on here, you know, at the end of this build sheet, you're going to get a handguard, a gas block, and a muzzle brake, hopefully from us at BYOAR.com. 
Uh, very cost effective, very nice American made stuff. Uh, you know, then you get it all, start watching the videos, and you put all that stuff together. And if you get trapped in the middle, you got questions about something, um, you can always email us, you give us a call, whatever, you know, we're glad to help you out. We're glad to help you walk through this stuff, give you any advice we can. Um, it's really not difficult. You know, I was a little intimidated when I did my first one. I'm sure Matt was a little intimidated yeah. at first, too. It's like, you know. A lot of pieces and parts and boxes. You know, like, oh, it doesn't exactly look like a gun. <laughs> they all yeah. go together pretty easily for the AR-15 platform, that is. Everything's pretty standardized as far as, you know, dimensions and tolerancing. So it, it all, all brands kind of can mix and mingle. Yeah. Know. It's pretty nice. Yeah. The uh, AR-10 platform can be a little little finicky. You've got a couple different things going on there. You've got Armalite, you've got DPMS, you got LR-308s, and you got to kind of be a, a little careful when you're ordering AR-10 stuff. Um, my best advice is order as much parts as you can from the same company. That way you know everything's going to fit together. Because I've seen many, many guys start ordering AR-10 parts, and then they, oh, this won't fit with this. This don't fit with that. Why is my handguard 60 thousandths higher than my upper receiver or, or 60 thousandths lower? You know, so there's high profile, there's low profile. You got to make sure you, you get the right stuff. So it, it behooves you to as more order as much as you can from one place. Yeah. But AR-15, no worries. Yeah. But everything everything goes together. Yeah. I've never had a, a pile of parts not yeah. go together and not go bang. So, <laughs> like I said, being the first time ever built one, did it myself, I'm just like, all right, put it all together and had no problems whatsoever with the gun. So. Yeah. 1,500 rounds later, it still performs perfect, no issues. So, so on BYOAR.com this week, uh, our special for the week this week is this beautiful Old Glory AR-15 handguard, battle-worn, four-color, Cerakoted for $140, normally $179.99. So on, the, on sale till Sunday night at midnight for $140. I mean, where else are you going to get a handguard like that for $140? Bucks? It's, it's beautiful. And uh, I think I have, I had a magazine. Oh, you want to grab that mag? Is there a magazine down there in that box? No? Hmm. I thought I had a... No? I had a bad... I had an American flag. Oh, there it is, right there in front of the, the pin set. So, yeah. Got the American, American flag handguard and the American so it goes real nice together hey so uh, you know we did a last week we did our uh, angled foregrips and our hand stops all these are going to be on the website real soon these are going out to get anodized. In fact, if they're not out at anodizing right now, I'd be real surprised. And our little micro hand stops are going into materials been ordered. It's on its way in. These are going into production this week. And uh, over the next week or two, we're going to be uh, introducing something really cool. It's our first foray into something like this. And uh, we've got a, a drop-in trigger coming. Cartridge style, three and a half pounds. It's a really cool little trigger, very cost-effective offering to the marketplace. Uh, we did a lot of testing. We did a lot of research, uh, a lot of fire tests with it. I won't tell you too much about the first time I tried one and it went full auto on me. I'm not, we're not supposed to have those. But it did happen. I stopped right away and went back to the drawing board, but it was fun for a few seconds. But, uh, no, we've, we've had uh, three prototypes that we've run, you know, several thousand rounds through, and... Uh, We've had no issues with them, and everything's in production, and we're going to have these probably within about two weeks. They're going to be available, and uh, in the coming week, maybe next week or the week after, we're going to have an introductory video for them and an, the ability for you to sign up and get emailed when these hit the website, and these will be available for uh, our retail customers and for our OEM builders. 
Uh, that's about all I got this week. You got anything, huh? Matt? Huh? I think we hit on all the stuff I was talking about. Yeah, a lot of people are having a hard time finding parts right now. There's, uh, you know, with everything going on in the world, there's a lot of fear right now. Um, people are stocking up on guns. They're stocking up on ammo. Ammo is almost impossible to find, and gun parts and guns themselves are getting harder and harder to find. Um, we provide you with the build sheets. Uh, you know, unfortunately, some of the stuff is out of stock. Um, at this point, I, I'm going through and I'm trying to redo the build sheets and make sure that I get you stuff that's in stock because I know, you know, if you want to do this, usually you're ready to do it and you want to do it right away. Mm -hmm. You don't want to wait weeks for a particular item to come back in stock. Uh, we try to make sure that we give you build sheets that are current and up to date on pricing and inventory, but it will, you know, who knows, you, you know, I could put a part on there today and it'll be out of stock tomorrow. So it, it is a trying time right now. And, uh, We'll, all, we'll get through it. We always do. Um, practice social distancing. Practice safe hygiene. Sanitize your hands. And uh, stay safe and stay healthy, everybody. And remember, you don't have to be an expert to build your own AR. And we're here, we're here to help. Thanks.